Hi, here I am in the Garden of Gethsemane, um, the supposed area where Jesus would have knelt down and pray after coming from the Mount of Olives, um, a place where he would have been supposedly arrested. You know, it can be any area, any area around this place, but um, however, Gethsemane signifies uh, a place of prayer, a place of deep intercession is a place where Jesus actually, the scripture says, he prayed until he sweat as though it was drips of blood. And he, he was in so much, and, and that's so much intense intercession that he even go as far as asking the Father if it be possible to take this cup away from him said nevertheless not my will but your will be done and at times we can be under so much pressure and we want the thing to pass from us but sometimes it be God's will that we go through some trial we go through some testing because testing is what, what makes us at times in the in the garden um, of Gethsemane um, there are a lot of olive tree and in order for oil to come out the olive must be crushed and at times um, also we, we may feel crushed on that situation but if we should just hang in there and hold on the testimony that comes out is that God is faithful and with the temptation, with the trial He's able to bring us out so the, the, the way we go through um, problems in our lives sometimes it is because we open the door or because um, the enemy brings it by intrusion or God allow it and God permit it. So what I'm, what I'm saying today is, is that in all situations, in all things, we have to pray. We have to remain in prayer. We have to be determined for God's will to be done in the midst of our circumstance. We have to say, Lord, if it be possible, you can take it away, no, but nevertheless, not my will but your will be done. So in the, the, the garden here, I'm also reminded that um, it's the place of like betrayal. You know, it's where Jesus, um, Judas came and, and actually betrayed Jesus with a kiss. And he would have said, friend, friend, you betray me with a kiss. Jesus knew of that moment that moment would come because at the, the supper he said you know go and do what you have to do and Judas went he took 30 pieces of silver and he came back and he showed them where Jesus was and they arrest him but Jesus said this is the instruction that was given to him by the father that he should lay his life down no man should take it away from him he lay his life down and pick it up again no man take his life from him this is the part that he came to walk to die for sinners but as was said a while ago in the ministry ministering of the word by justice elka what jesus was afraid of is not really dying it's not the suffering not the beating not the nailing to the cross what he was really shaken up about is being separated from his father no point in time throughout his entire from he have never been separated from his father. What separated him from his father is sin of the world. He took sin upon himself so that we can be free. If we neglect so great a sacrifice, what shall be done unto us if we reject it? So let us take into consideration Gethsemane, a place of intercession, a place of prayer, a place where we can stand in the gap, a place where we can go free. In Jesus' name, I take the opportunity even standing by this olive tree here, what may be over 2,000 years old, I take the opportunity to intercede. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would bring deliverance to those that are going through temptation, those that are going through trials, those that are going through testing, those that are ready to give up and give in, those that are ready to give up on their marriage, those that are ready to give up on their job, their business, their career, their life on the whole, contemplating suicide. 
in the name of Jesus, I release you. In the name of Jesus from Gethsemane, I release you. Be released in Jesus' name. Be released some chains. When you're going through the temptation, I declare God's will upon you. Not your will, but God's will. Not Satan's will, but God's will. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I make contact with Gethsemane and I make contact with your situation. Not, not, not the devil will, not your will, but God's will. In the name of Jesus, not your will, not Satan's will, but God's will. I declare angels shall strengthen you. The Spirit of God shall strengthen you. The Spirit of God shall lift you up. In the name of Jesus, be delivered from your trials and your temptation. You may come through it only through the blood. You may go through it only through the blood. The blood of Jesus. He's a way maker. He made a way for you. Be free, be loose, be set free. In Jesus' name.